When you talk about something having symmetry, there's really two things you could be talking about when you say symmetric with respect to. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about is with respect to a line. Okay, so line symmetry. Um, when you think about how you make a line, it's when you fold. Okay, so line symmetry is when you can fold a figure and it lines up with itself. That's said to have line symmetry. So the best way to show this to you really is going to be with some tracing paper. Pencil works best on this. Um, there's really no equivalent like tool on the SOL that you can use as far as tracing paper goes, um, but it's a great way to help your brain see it. So if I trace the star, the closer I trace it, the better. Um, the first step is you have to ask what you think you see, and then you fold. You start folding to look for it. Um, I feel like I can fold it down the middle here, vertically. So, I might use my fingernails to try and get a good line. Hold it up to the light. Okay. Alright, and I think that looks pretty good. So see what I mean by folding it? So if I can take a figure and I can fold it and it lines up with itself, it's said to have line symmetry. So again, what am I folding on? I'm folding on or across or with respect to a line. Okay? So when I say line symmetry, find that line. Be able to draw it. The best way to really do that. And when you draw it, you're looking at the left and right side and you're saying, okay, if this was wet paint and I folded this, okay, piece of paper right here, everything's going to line up to that side. Okay, so you might be asked how many lines of symmetry something has. Now, a shape like a star is very, you could use the word regular, although there's concave stuff, so technically I don't think you would, but, um, you know, every point on here is the same. And if you're going through a point and it's opposite little crease there, you're going to be able to do that through each point. So think as I kind of turn this thing. Let me put the line now this time. This way, through this point, and then this opposite crease, if I fold that way, I also have a line of symmetry right there. So I'm going to have a total of, let's see, this point and opposite crease. There's two this point and opposite crease. There's three point opposite crease, four point opposite crease. It's a total of five lines of symmetry. So yes, this has line symmetry and it has five lines. So now look at the heart. Think about that one. How many lines of symmetry could you find there? Use the tracing paper if you can't see it, but you hopefully saw one line right down the middle of that vertical line right there. Okay. Alright, so yes, and it has one line, one vertical line. Okay, now look at this flag. What do you think? Okay, so I get a lot of um, answers on this one that are not correct. Some people think they can fold it horizontally or vertically. But because of those curves, those aren't going to line up. The same thing is going to happen if you try to go vertically. Okay, because that cave is going to go down. And that curve is going to go up. And then a lot of people want to try the diagonal. This is close to a rectangle, which would also not have diagonal lines of symmetry. But there's no way you can make that work across the diagonals either. So this actually has no lines of symmetry.